Okay, so you're probably wondering what it is we're doing staring at a gas can and a beer bottle, right? Well, I'll tell you what, those are the two key ingredients for murdering yellow jackets, okay? Gotta kill them dead, all right? Welcome back to another session of man school. Yep. Uh, and here, Johnny and I are gonna slaughter some vermin. Yep, nice nighttime edition here. So, hey, would you hold the phone so yeah, I can- Yeah, yeah, uh... hold the phone, hold the phone. We're gonna kill <laughs> yeah. some bees. Yeah, hold the phone. All right, let's see if we got any gas left in here or not. That's not looking so good. Okay, so unfortunately, this means we're gonna have to go to plan B. Plan B involves using uh, the leftover two cycle uh, gasoline. So it's gonna be gas and oil. They don't mind, they get dead either way. Uh, it's just a matter of whether you're gonna put some oil in there, waste some oil or not. Um, so anyway. Either way they get dead. Either way they get dead. That's all we care about here. All right, so we're gonna put just a little bit of gasoline inside of the beer bottle. Now make sure you don't confuse this with the beer bottle that you're trying to actively drink out of. That would be problematic. And you'll notice the brand here. We are concocting the champagne of yellow jacket poison. That's right, that's right. Um, okay, and it doesn't really matter whether you use 87 octane or whatever, you know, uh, they, like I said, they get dead either way. All right. But, so, you know, I will point out that thanks to the Biden administration, this uh, little concoction is a little bit more expensive than it was just a few years that's ago. That's right, that's so. right. So cheers to that. All right. Uh, we're going to put the gas All right, Johnny, I got a question for you. Yeah, where, where are the matches? Because we're going to set this on fire, <laughs> no, right? No, no, no. No nope. fire involved. Yeah. This is very safe. Uh, they don't like the fumes. Makes them dead. Okay, okay. so, all right, we're going to sneak up on them now, all right? All right. So we do this at nighttime because they all go to sleep in their little hole. And uh, all right, they're going to be sleeping. Uh, this is going to be the big sleep for them, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is some very, very Blair Witch atmosphere <laughs> out here. Yeah. So, the... The things that are important to notice, you want to obviously mark the hole in the daylight hours so you know where you're going, right? Uh, so I did, did you that. did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good thinking. Uh, so there's a stick over here. I see it right over here. See the stick? I see it okay. right there. All right, so the hole is going to be at the end of the stick, not this end, the other end over there, okay? So you can shine it over there. Oh, yeah, look at that. See that hole right there? Oh, that's yeah, where yeah. The, that's where now the... your friendly neighborhood co-host here is allergic to them bees yeah so he's keeping his distance okay let me see that flashlight there yeah all right okay so this is the hole right there that's where they're gonna go and it's real simple process essentially all you do is um take this beer bottle with the gasoline in it right and you just shove it in a the hole there you and go. that's it and then you run bye bye bing. if you don't want to get stung no you're not going to get stung you just go like this like this and just go bye bye okay see you later guys nice Good night. knowing ya sleepy time okay so they're gonna be dead we'll come check them tomorrow and they'll all be dead and i just want to say this is for you kate we don't like how they treated you today this is personal they sting you yeah you we, mess with her yeah. you mess with us this is what you get you dunskies yeah all right uh this has been another edition of uh how to do important stuff man school as we call it yep thank you for joining us yeah see you next time peace bye